Good morning. It's Friday, May the 8th, about quarter to 11 in the morning. And we're here in Port Colborne on the Welland Canal, East Bank, just south of Lock 8 and north of Clarence Street Bridge in the background. And this is the CSL St. Laurent coming in. She's downbound. She has a uh, load of wheat out of Thunder Bay. And she's heading for uh, Trois Rivières, Quebec. Uh, she's got about 31,000 metric tone on. And if you'll remember, I uh, got it straightened out as far as this class of ship is concerned. It's uh, not a trillium class, according to uh, CSL. It's a gearless bottom. That means that uh, you still have to use the clams to go in and unload it. This ship is the latest of technology. Brand spanking new ship. Only her second load and uh, second trip downbound through the Welland Canal system. Just new in the system this year. 740 feet long, 78 feet wide. And as you can see, she's sitting low in the water and she's loaded. Beautiful looking ship. Of course, they're all nice when they're new, aren't they? Takes a crew of about 16 to 18 to operate this ship. And, uh, this is about a $40 million boat. I thought they were around 65, but uh, without that boom on her, puts it, puts them around about 40 million. This ship the, uh, is equipped, I'm not sure whether the other classes or not, but this one is equipped with the latest in technology, computers and so on, but the biggest claim to flame is, fame is that it's leaner and greener, meaning that it has uh, exhaust scrubbers on this ship. And what that means is this boat will have, oh, a huge amount of less emissions. Cuts at something like 90 or 95 percent, the diesel emissions that come out of this thing with the, with the scrubbers, emission scrubbers. Uh, the other claim to fame with it is all technology. Um, of course, you have the uh, Trillium class. The uh, Welland is a sister ship to this one, uh, built in China. I still haven't been able to figure that out. I know the tariffs were list lifted, 25% tariffs were lifted by the Canadian government. So with that in mind, you think we'd be building them over here, but no, they're building them over in China and bringing them over here. She looks nice, doesn't she? Down there. Say Laurent. Okay, we're back. I had a little chat with a fellow up there. Very friendly. Got a job to do. Watch the front end of that boat. She don't scrape the wall. There we are. Once again, up on the bridge. Yeah, this is amazing. Be able to come right here and enjoy these things. And sit right down by the canal like this and watch them go by. I've been amazed about these big things ever since I was a kid seven years old and I watched my first one go down through the Welland Canal in Welland South where I grew up as a kid. 
They're amazing, these bug boats. I'll uh, leave a description in my description area about the boat. You can see more facts and figures of water and so on. The last time I posted one there was too much information in there and I had to cut some of it out. So we get her going on uh, YouTube here on my page. Give us a like, give us a comment, share us if you'd like to, subscribe if you want to. Boy, it's a long way up there. My goodness. Seven stories. Just listen to the big boat. You listen to them diesels run. One day I'm gonna finagle me a ride on one of these things from the lakehead to the mouth of the St. Lawrence and back here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but that would be my dream. Take about a two-week cruise. Yeah. There's that exhaust scrubber there working. that's coming up and uh, I just want to prepare you for it now. I'll keep you posted on what's going on. Something a little different that I'm going to play with to look at these things with in the video. All right, we'll talk to you another time. Bye for now. Good morning again. And here we are again on the Welland Canal again. I am just about half, well I'm just at the south end of Welland what they call the Town Line Tunnel. It's just on the south end of Welland. Right at this point here, just about oh, half a mile below me here, to the south of me, behind me, uh, the canal goes over tracks and a roadway. There's a tunnel. It's tunneled underneath there. This is the Equinox, the Algoma Equinox. This is the ex, uh, Equinox class of Algoma. And as you're aware, it is a gearless bottom. And uh, Captain Peter Schultz, he's high in the water, heading for Thunder Bay. Load of grain. Newest. for Algoma. 
see if I can't get him to get me a salute. I drove north of Port Coburn. She's uh, upbound naturally. And I'll follow her up to the lakehead, Thunder Bay, watch her load, and track her back down through the system again. I knew she was coming down to Port Coburn. I just didn't want to wait around for another hour or so down to Port Coburn, down on the lock. So this is the first time I've been up this far. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I'll go my Equinox. St. Catharines. Burning right along. She's moving along at about, uh, oh, six and a half knots. I think that's what their speed limit is in here in the canal. This is the new cut of the canal. There's the old one to the east of here. Well, it's at that point across over there is where, it, no, it's not here. That's right. It's north of Welland where it joins together. Okay, we'll say goodbye for now. Uh, leave your comments, leave your quotes. Uh, I'll put some more description about this ship uh, in the description area. Share us, uh, subscribe if you want to. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.